This is my favorite breakfast because it's so healthy, but it literally tastes like dessert. I wake up craving it. It is a chia seed pudding. So good for you. And I can't wait to show you how to make it because once you try this, you're going to be hooked. I get messages from people on Instagram saying ever since they started making it, now they're hooked. My dad's hooked on it. Literally everyone that tries it loves it. So let's make it. My plates are from Heat Ceramics and I just love the color so much. I just use one of these bowls. I keep everything in this basket because I feel like it's so much easier because you know you don't have to look for things for a long time. So I have my chia seeds and everything else in the, these little jars. So first I put the chia seed. I just do a generous amount and chia seeds early in the morning is so healthy for you. It's basically high in fiber and it coats everything that you eat after. I don't know, you have to do the research because it's been a minute since I've done it, but I know that I feel amazing when I have chia seeds in the mornings and it keeps me so full. So once that's there, I put hot water, like boiling water. So as you can see, it's like soaked in it. I mean, there's tons of water. In just a few minutes, this is gonna expand. So it feels like it's a lot of water, but it's actually not. And then I put one date, cause again, dates are super, super healthy for you. I'm just gonna take the pit and put it in there. And with the hot water, it kind of just melts. I wash my fruit and I always put a little bit of vinegar because it kills any bacteria. Cause I love to keep the skin on the apple or whatever I'm eating. So I just let this soak for a few minutes. Okay, now that it's super hard, I'm just smashing the dates because the dates are actually quite soft now. As you can see, all that water is basically gone. I use Coco June because it's just so good. I use about a tablespoon full of Coco June, which is just so good for you too because it's probiotics. And I just mix it up. I also use almond butter because again, super healthy for you. I use about a tablespoon of almond butter. And again, I just kind of mix it up. It's like dessert. It's so good. Okay, so this is the base. Now we're gonna put all the toppings. I love fruits, so I will put anything that I have, especially mangoes, go so well. My mangoes are not ready today, so we're starting with bananas. And then some strawberries. If you want to make this the night before, you totally can, and then just put the toppings the next day. It just won't be warm, which that's one thing I love about this breakfast is that it's warm and, you know, kind of hearty while it's super healthy. Adding some apples now. I'm super lazy to use a cutting board, so. Look how pretty that looks. So I make homemade granola. Sometimes I'll make it with oats, sometimes I won't, but I'm trying to cut down on my oats because I have oat milk a lot. These are just mixed nuts. I just have macadamia nuts and almonds, and I just basically toast it for a few minutes, add a little bit of maple syrup just to add some sweetness. And I just add that because again, I just love the little crunch that it gives. And it's also, again, super healthy fats for you. I love cinnamon, so I load it up with cinnamon, but if you don't like it, you can skip this stuff. Cinnamon's also really healthy for you. Also, this trick I learned from TikTok, watch, like if you do this, it's gonna take forever. And then if you do this, how cool is that? So just anything like a jar, I guess, <laughs> you just or another spice jar, it works. The things I learn on TikTok, I tell you. Lastly, I add some hemp seeds. Again, super healthy for you. So just drizzle it on. And that's it. It is seriously so easy. You can technically make the base the night before if you don't mind your breakfast being cold. I like it warm, so I make it in the morning. It doesn't take too long because again, everything is in a basket ready to go. The only thing that's a little time consuming, I guess, it's like cutting up the fruits. But other than that, it's so easy. Just trying to get every bite, you know, ready. It's like crunchy and soft. It's the perfect amount of sweetness. If you feel like you want it to be sweeter, you can even add a little bit of maple syrup or you can double on the dates. I want you to make this. And when you do, come back and tell me how you like it. If you added anything that was different, tell me so I can try it too. But that's it. I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast. <laughs> Bye.